Well, I will say this, that uh, there were two shows here, and uh, one of them was uh, the follow-up for TakeOver, and they were both debuting, I shouldn't say debuting, but I mean, it was the first night where they were on separate nights. This was each of their opportunities to do a blow-away show to try to get viewers to watch their show instead of the other show, because the other show wasn't head-to-head. And one of them I thought was a blow-away show, and one of them I thought was there. I agree. I thought that uh, AW was a blow-away show. The first match was absolutely fantastic. It was one of the best matches in the history of the company. It was so freaking great. I was waiting for that match for months, um, and then they delivered, and it was actually better than I expected. And I expected pretty close to a uh, best tag team match of the year. But that match was the match was fantastic. Yeah, the show opened up with the Young Bucks explaining why they turned last week, and they said that they chose friendship, they chose hugs, they're the best tag team in the world. It's true, they have not felt the same since coming to AEW. They took the big payday, they're no longer hungry, they were letting other guys take credit for all the work they did, but they are no longer content. Time to bring back the old Young Bucks, but a new, better version of themselves. Then we had Mike Tyson doing a promo about tonight. MJF walks up, and basically MJF is trying to get him to to cheat and uh, help. Uh, he, was, he was trying to Dax. bribe him. He was trying to bribe Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson takes the check, the blank check that MJF has written for him, and he tears it up and he eats it. And it's yeah. funny because as he's tearing it up, I thought Mike Tyson better eat this check, and he did. So there. Why you go. did you think he would eat the check? I just knew he was going to eat the check. Okay, I um, I knew he was going to tear it up. I mean, I knew. He might have thought it was an ear. I guess. We had Pac and Phoenix versus the Young Bucks. Young Bucks have new gear, including very, 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 very expensive shoes. I mean, depending on where you look on the internet, we're talking anywhere from seven to $15,000 for these shoes. Really? Limited edition, yes. Wow. So they're flaunting they're gonna, them. They got new gear. They're going to spend that much on shoes to 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 uh, wrestle Pac and, and... I'm pretty sure they, they will wrestle with these shoes for a while, would be my guess. Wow. But uh, the Young Bucks' as heels are the yet yeah, the best Young Bucks. They are I so was, great. That's when I started going live to PWG with oh. the heels. They were fantastic. They were fantastic in this okay, match. Okay, so, so now that I say this, all those people... Who, who would get furious at me when I would compare them to the Midnight Express. This is the team that you just watched, that I was watching in PWG, that is, in fact, synchronized like the Midnight Express, except they don't have a Jim Cornette in their corner. But they're, they got a he, Don Callis. They did have Don Callis in their corner, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the way that they do the high flying and the way they feed and everything like that and the way they pace it's the same thing and you know that's just i mean people are gonna freaking blow a gasket and ah, blow who it. cares about these people dave this these guys were all timers in this match they were so the, great they've been all, they've been all timers for a decade but well, yeah this sure. is I mean, like when, like I watched them in PWG do great matches with teams that were not so good, do unbelievable matches with teams that were pretty good. I remember freaking MSK when they were Xavier, De Desmond Xavier and Zachary Wentz, and they had this incredible, like, four and a half star match with the Young Bucks. And I went to him and I go, like, I never knew you guys were this good. And it's like, the other guys are the ones that are this good. They're the ones. They're they're the ones who laid the whole match out. And I go, oh well, okay. I'll take your word for it. Well, they were uh, they were fantastic, and so were obviously Pac and Phoenix, and they had an incredible match. This was one of the best AEW television matches ever. The best and AEW matches period ever. I, I'd say top ten easily, if not higher than that. Um, Ray Phoenix is just he is just unbelievable. I mean. He is, I, I would not say, I know some people think he's the best wrestler in the world. I would not say that, but I will say he is the most spectacular. Well, I don't know. Vikingo's pretty spectacular, too. But um, he is the most spectacular um, wrestler in, in uh, a major promotion in the world. Okay. Well, if, if, not including AAA. And I haven't seen enough Vikingo lately. But him and Vikingo are the most spectacular. But since Vikingo's not in... Um, 
not so much mainstream just yet, and he probably should be this year at some point. But anyway, he's unbelievable. I mean, like, I'm not even saying he's the best of the four in that in this match as a wrestler all around because Pac is great, Nick Jackson is great, Matt Jackson's great, but he just does freaking mind blowing things. They're just mind blowing. I mean, I when he did that triple jump in the ropes into that thing, and I, you know, it's like you know he's doing it, but you're going like, come on, he's not really doing it, and then he does it. It's just ridiculous. Well, at the end of the day, they had this fantastic match, and at the end, Nick hits a low blow on Pac. He super kicks Phoenix out of midair. They yank his mask off, and they double super kick him for the pin. Awesome heel finish. Yep. Match yep. was just great. Go watch Absolutely. this, everybody. The first 30 minutes of the show was the opening segment and then this match. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.